Hello. I'm reviewing Classic Lager from Captain Lawrence. So I'm pretty sure this is a so-called American adjunct lager, which I don't really like that term now because people, adjunct means a million things. Now people say adjunct stout and that means pastry stout, which is basically the opposite of an adjunct lager. Adjunct just means not your normal brewing um, or traditional brewing ingredients. Um, so I think there's either corn or rice in here. I'm betting it's corn. This is 4.2% alcohol. Canned, let's see, I guess quite a while ago. Three, I don't know, a little, like two and a half months ago. So for a beer like that, like this, that's fresh enough. Doesn't really matter too much. There's like very little info exactly on the ingredients of this beer. Um, but it's, it's kind of a new thing for them and it's definitely way cheaper than all their other beers. I think I got a four pack for eight bucks, but hopefully they'll do like 12 packs for real cheap. I want a craft brewer to make a beer like this. That's like, um, you know, $10 to 12 pack or something like that. That would be, that would be great. And have it not be night shift. So let's see, this is looking paler than I thought it would be. It's real pale. And yep, kind of looks the way you'd expect it. Big, big head that's going to dissipate quickly. Big force carb bubbles. Glass, of course, is not super clean. I didn't clean it. It's a nice classic lager aroma. Nothing wrong. It's actually kind of toasty, even though you look at it and it's like, whoa, that is ultra pale. Um, you don't expect to get much malter smell but it's quite toasty like a but a very savory toast not quite toasted bread I don't know I guess kind of toasted toasted corn maybe a little bit of popcorn not buttered popcorn but just like straight up un, un, uh, unflavored popcorn or Maybe a little bit corn, like corn tortillas. And I'm getting very, very little hop in there. Maybe a slight herbal note. That's pretty good. It definitely nails the style. It's not too big or too sweet or too hoppy. Or too yeasty. The finish is a, it's, it's a lot like High Life and Rolling Rock. Those ones are actually a little bit stronger and um, <clears throat> maybe with a little less malt character. I guess High Life is a little bit sweet and malty. And uh, those beers might actually have a little bit of a denser head. This one's pretty frothy. <clears throat> with big bubbles and all that, but the heat and humidity, humidity is definitely making it die down faster than it would, I think. And yeah, lots and lots of carbonation, fizzing. Very light bodied. This is probably actually, I don't know, it's kind of like Miller Lite, but Miller Lite is, has I think a that little less malt character. <clears throat> It'd be interesting to to do a blind tasting of this with a bunch of, you know, industrial mass-made lagers and see if this one stands out at all or it really blends in because it's seeming to blend in pretty well to me right now. Maybe it has a little bit more body than like your standard 4.2 light beer. It's definitely a little toastier. It's probably somewhere between High Life and Miller Lite. I'm guessing. I, I like it. I kind of like the style of beer, especially on a day like this. And it's hard to kind of rate these beers because it's like, it's, not, it's nothing world class, but it's not really supposed to be. <clears throat> um, but I'd give it 3.75 3 or something like that. It's pleasant. Pleasant to drink. No off flavors, not much character at all, but they, they 
did not mess up the brewing at all. Um, it's almost, I wonder if this is sort of like Narragansett light or something. But the thing is that it's still quite a bit more expensive than those beers, including Narragansett. <clears throat> so I don't really know if I'm going to buy it often. I'll probably end up buying it again at some point. Unless they do like $10 12 packs, then I, then I would definitely get it well carbonated. But nothing wrong if you, if you want a, a craft brewed lager that's really just like mass produced lagers. It has that kind of effortless and chugability and all that stuff. This is this is definitely one to go for. Bye.